Welcome to the Wi-Fi Pan Digital Handheld Wand Scanner. Quickly and easily make digital copies of all your favorite photos and documents. Now that you scan some images, you probably want to view and share them. There are two easy options we'll review. First, the Wi-Fi transfer. To transfer your scanned images using Wi-Fi, you'll first have to turn the Wi-Fi mode on. You can do this by sliding the switch to the on position. Wait 40 seconds while the data is indexed and the Wi-Fi ready countdown reaches zero seconds. You will see a blue light blinking. This indicates that a Wi-Fi connection is being found. To connect your computer, iPhone, iPad, or Android device to the scanner, use the device's Wi-Fi settings to select the scanner's network ID. This will show up in a list with other available networks as Pan Digital plus a four-digit code unique to your specific scanner. PC users must go to the Wi-Fi network icon and select the network ID. No password is required. Wait for the connected status confirmation. Mac users must click the Wi-Fi network icon on the menu bar and select the network ID. No password is required. Wait for the connected status confirmation. Make sure you are connected to only one IP interface, either Wi-Fi or an Ethernet port. iPhone users must go to Settings, Wi-Fi Settings, then select the network ID. No password is required. Wait for the check mark to confirm the connected status. iPad users must go to Settings, Wi-Fi Settings, then select the network ID. No password is required. Wait for the check mark to confirm the connected status. Android users must go to Settings, Wi-Fi Settings, then select the network ID. No password is required. Wait for the check mark to confirm the connected status. The second option for transferring files involves connecting your scanner directly to your computer. Your scanner can act as a memory card reader for the micro SD memory card. With the micro SD memory card still inserted in the scanner, simply connect the small end of the included USB cable into the scanner, and then insert the larger end into the USB port of your computer. The first time you do this, it will likely take your computer a minute or two to recognize the device and install the proper drivers. When ready, the scanner will be visible in your file explorer as a removable disk drive. Again, your memory card will appear as a volume titled PD Scan. Click on this to see a folder named DCIM. This is where scanned images will be stored. The folder 100 Photo is used for JPEG scans, and the folder 200 Doc is used to store PDF scans. You can now cut or copy and paste these image files into your computer and use as you would any other image file. Whichever method used, you are sure to find countless fun ways to make use of all that you scan with your pan-digital handheld wand scanner.